Hey everybody. I was just walking past the room and I noticed some motion out of the corner of my eye. When I looked over, I saw that my little sculpin here had darted across the tank and come to a rest right there. So I've been a little bit concerned about this one. I'm still not 100% sure what it eats. But according to everything I've seen and read about it, it eats little insect larvae, crustaceans, snails. It might eat small fry, you know, fish fry, and so on and so forth. So I've been putting a variety of stuff in the tank that I hope this fish will eat, including small snails and blood worms, brine shrimp, mysis shrimp. I've stopped short of putting guppy fry. But hopefully there's enough stuff in there in addition to all the stuff like the sinking granules and flakes and shrimp pellets and algae wafers and all that stuff that ultimately goes in this tank as well. So I've been hoping that it's been eating something and it clearly is. I mean, it's still in there and it's been in there for a few weeks now. If it wasn't eating anything, I think it would have starved to death. And when I fed the tank the other day, I had squirt in using a... Um, a turkey baster, and I had squirt in a mixture of both blood worms, which are actually a type of mosquito larvae. They're not actually worms, but they are mosquito larvae, uh, between the blood worms and it was some brine shrimp mixed in with it. And he was lying down sort of behind a log when I squirted in. I say log, I'm, you know, a little stick in there. But I couldn't see exactly what it was doing, but it made two quick little sort of dashes forward with its head like it was gobbling something up so i didn't exactly see it gobble something up you know i didn't actually see the little uh piece of worm or whatever go into its mouth but it really looked to me like it was gobbling up a bunch of little blood worms that had gone down and swirled around underneath the piece of wood it was sitting behind so that gives me hope that it's going to be okay because I can easily keep feeding the tank with blood worms. And if it gets used to eating the blood worms and maybe it'll start eating some of the mysis shrimp. And who knows, eventually it might even get accustomed to gobbling up a few little, um, you know, shrink sinking um, granules or something. I don't know. We'll see. You can see that crayfish in the background hiding underneath that cave. I always thought that the pile of rocks where the pump is over here would be the prime real estate in this tank for the crayfish to live under, but I was wrong, and I don't know why I was thinking that. When you look at the size of that whole entire rock right there, underneath of that is one big cave. It's got a rock at this end, and it's got a rock at that end, and the hole underneath of there is opened up. So that crayfish that lives under there has plenty of room. And needless to say, the largest crayfish in the tank has claimed occupancy of that area. That's always how it goes. So there you go. Just a quick little update on my mottled sculpin. And that is mottled with T's, M-O-T-T-L-E-D. In case you are mishearing that and you're thinking I'm saying mottled sculpin, it's a mottled sculpin. So there you go, just a quick update, I'm going to get back to it, make sure you're subscribed, that way you won't miss anything i got coming up, I'm going to be tinkering around here in the fish room this afternoon, and we should be able to get some videos of that coming up here in the near future, so you don't want to miss that or anything else, so once again I'm going to say thanks for watching, make sure you're subscribed, don't forget this one here is my native tank, and I'll see you real soon in the next one.